I am so sorry, guys. I am so sorry. So it turns out that if you want to make some omelets, you do have to break some eggs. Uh, I did a video, just the, the very last video on this channel was about this trend scanning um, implementation here on the platform and how it was yielding like ridiculously good results. And as when we did the back test, we saw it looked really, really, really good. Uh, <laughs> so I hate to mention him again, Jacques. I'm so sorry for doing this to you. Again, like Jacques looked at the videos like, dude, you've got this completely wrong. And what it meant was that I had implemented a version of this trend scanning that included look ahead bias. So it has information about the future encoded into it. And so what that means is, of course, a model is going to be good at predicting because it's got information about the future. And I didn't realize that. And I thought it might like a part of me felt very cautious, um, but I wanted to get the video out. I couldn't see it like I'd look through the code and I thought, oh, this, this must be great. And I got way ahead of myself and I got too excited. So I'm sorry for that. Um, if you want to make omelets, you got to break eggs. And so I broke some eggs. So I will be adjusting this um, algorithm here to include the backward looking component to it. And I will do a video to let you know when that's done. So, you know, that will be announced. Um, and also I'll probably put a banner like, you know, on the membership area on the dashboard so that people can see it's done. Um, but for now, you know, this is still a really cool tool. It's just, it's supposed to be used for, you know, what's called labeling, um, which I still clearly know nothing about, but that's, you know, that's what, you know, that's what it's useful now. So it's still useful, but just don't be using it to try to make predictions about the future right now um, in the way that I did, because that's going to lead to enormously good results. But then you'll find that when it comes to reality and you start using it, um, you're not going to get the same results, right? So don't, just don't. Um, so that's the first thing. I would have got the video out yesterday. It's the second thing. I'm just going to, because this is a quick video, I wanted to just do a very quick uh, update on what I'm working on. So I'm spending a lot of time right now with the Bybit exchange. And the reason for that is they offer a rebate. And there's somebody who I'm going to personally thank uh, here on the channel. He's one of the wizards who wrote into me to make me aware of, you know, he, he actually said in the email, he said, here's some information just to get your wheel spinning. And it did get my wheel spinning. And I thought, you know, the triangular arbitrage course, so people, you know, they hit the crypto wizards platform. They see that, you know, there's this triangular arbitrage. Um, course and they they do the course and I get really good feedback on that because I really did try to explain everything for everyone and and the the actual response in that course was overwhelming um, to the degree where I put so much into it but I wasn't I never really expect much back because I know you know people are busy like just because I think something's really important and interesting doesn't mean lots of people do but it turned out a lot of people got a lot from that because there just wasn't anything else really like it online and I felt really good about that. And, you know, so now one of the things I have to admit, though, is that course really lacks in talking about execution. You know, ex execution is half of the game, if not more. In fact, it's, it's hugely important. And so, you know, there's a lot of interest in statistical arbitrage. I am enormously interested in statistical arbitrage because you just don't have the same, all the same checks you have to hit in many respects as like triangular arbitrage. Um, and also you can really turn the execution in your favor. And that's what I'm trying to do here is to build a complete package talking about trading a trading strategy end to end, where I actually trade on the Bybit exchange with a bot, develop the bot, show you how to build the bot. And that's what I'm working on, you know, right now. Um, and, and truthfully, I'm loving it. Like, uh, I must admit, so Bybit, like, if, to me, it looked really scammy. Um, but what I will say, my experience working with Bybit so far is their customer service is like second to none. So, so what I realized is if I go on the chat and I ask the chatbot for a human within about one minute to two minutes max, I have a human and they will help me and they'll point me in the right direction. So obviously I'm working a lot with their API, etc. Um, you know, I'm using WebSockets, a combination of a REST API and WebSockets, which people will learn about in the course. But, um, you know, there's some nuances to how you place the trades that are really important that most people would just overlook. And, and those nuances actually me, mean the difference between making and losing money. 
And so I actually will be covering that a lot in the course as well. So I expect that course to be done probably within a month. It's going to take about a month of full time work. It's not easy, right? It's and, and it's got to be right. Like it has to be right. It has to be tested. You know, the algo has got to be working. It's got to look, you know, relatively profitable, right? I know people will go and they will enhance it. And they will, there's so many things you can do to a bot to tweak it to your liking. But I want to get something that out the gate uh, is a really good starting point and actually quite difficult to compete with. So, you know, so that's what I'm working on at the moment. But just to close off on this video, that's not what this video is really about. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I got really excited and I hyped up this trend thing and it's wrong. And thank you to Jacques for pointing it out. Um, I'll get it corrected. So anyway, thanks again. Take care and talk soon.